Hey guys, welcome to the part 5 of this series. And today we are going to go another step ahead. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click that red bell like the red uh subscribe button, make it silver, hit the bell icons, just click turn on notifications for all of my videos and comment down below how is everything going in your life and uh, what you want from your life. I mean literally, not on recording. You can show me your personal life thoughts so I don't really much mind and uh, let's get started and I wanted to just tell you another thing that soon another series is coming and we'll be making a platform like Netflix but my own uh, in there we will be streaming uh, the movies and we will not be uploading the movies on our you know web on our website or itself we'll be you know having torrent links and we will be actually streaming the torrents on our website so we can actually you know, watch movies without downloading them so that's a good thing right okay now let's open our shopping website okay this one is it I hope so yeah that's right let me just do some clearing okay so in the last video we set it up over node.js backend we didn't actually set it up but we just made a little bit of you know structure that right there and now let's ignore it for us uh, for a moment okay now let's go back to the client section and in here today what we are going to do we are going to make our first home page so what will the home page contain the home page will just have our products so probably we will have uh, kind of like a uh, three sections in our website let's say one is going to be going to be the home page and then we will have different pages like another section is going to be dedicated only for showing the shoes another section is going to be dedicated Showing something okay for showing something else and another page is going to be dedicated for showing something else like all of them will show uh, different categories but in the home page uh, we will just show all of them together okay so yeah that will be pretty much okay for now okay let's do it so what we are going to do we need to go to our page folder and in the index of JS it will be our home page it will will be the page that whenever someone comes to a website he will see this page without typing anything like you know slash uh, shoes slash something like that he will just directly see this page like we like I showed it before so for that we will go to what do we say tail blocks.cc in here we need to scroll a little bit down and there we will have e-commerce site right Okay, now we will make uh, what we say. We will set up our footer and our header in this video. So footer and header will be provided by the tail blocks itself, so that we don't have to do much of a coding, right? We will get any of that and footer or block, footer or something like that. Okay, this is footer, right? I need something, you know, clean. Okay, this one will do the work. Let's just click here and let's click copy to clipboard and let's open another website that is known as HTML to just type HTML to JSX and just click on the first transform the tools. Just paste your code here and just copy the JSX. So, what is the difference between HTML, this normal HTML, and JSX? So, in JSX means a JavaScript version of HTML. In here in React or Next.js, you cannot just write directly class you need to write class name and you cannot just you know put the, your styles normally you need to convert your styles to you know component style style you know css and uh, you cannot use spaces or you know a dash in your attributes in uh, jsx you need to capitalize the another letter after the dash so that's how jsx works okay my bad i clicked on this one let's click copy and this is going to be a footer so the thing is that the footer will not change much right footer will stay static like that so what we can do we can go click on the client folder here create a new folder inside the client folder with the name of uh, components 
now here we can uh, create a new j6 j6 file with the name of uh navbar no not actually navbar with the name of footer dot js jsx let's name it jsx so what's the difference between naming it js and jsx well the only difference is while well, you have named the jsx we will get the code snips of uh, javascript react if you will only name a js you will get the code snips of javascript unless until you will not click here and just set your uh, language to js uh, no javascript react so you will get the you know snips according to that so why i capitalize this because when you're importing one component to another component you have to make sure that it's for the first that is capitalized otherwise you, you will face few issues so well yeah will you just type rfc react functional component which will be exported as default right this name doesn't really matter because when you're exporting it as default what happens actually you know when you're exporting something as default this name doesn't matter because you can ex export that thing uh, you can import that thing in, in another L component with whatever name you want like you can name it uh, the down section it doesn't really much comes it doesn't really matter unless until you're exporting as it as default or if you're not exporting it as default then you have to make sure you write the same name as you have written the name of the function okay now in here in the return section we'll just paste this code okay good and now we'll just replace tail blocks with something like uh, what is our site the name our programmers warehouse the only place website okay so we have started this up and we have few categories categories like that we can rename this one to shoes we can rename this one to t-shirts we can rename this one to maybe upper and we can rename this one to maybe something like uh pants okay what we call it uh what we call the pants okay one second pants for men okay do we call it pants uh yeah let's say trousers right trousers so we'll have all the links for that one we will rename this tail blocks to programmers warehouse and elder address of i will name it Adoni. and guys my name is faris and uh, i am from india so just to you know, make sure you know me okay that looks fine right so we can just say cd client and we can say yarn dev to run our next javascript application and hit enter uh hold control and click here and it will open this one okay full stack shopping website okay we didn't import our footer anywhere right so what we are going to do now we will just go we will actually import it inside of our underscore app because the thing is we want our footer to be available throughout the whole website doesn't matter what our page we are on index.js is just a home home page right it can be we can go to the page of like another some particular section page so index javascript will not be considered anymore so here what we have to do we need to put in some empty tags like that and here after the components has been loaded we want to put our footer hit enter slash close this tag so what is going to happen now they are first of all going to show our actual component and below that component they are going to show a footer and if you do a refresh you can see this is our full stack shopping website and this is our okay my bad i don't know what the bug is but if i click anywhere they just show me like you can edit this thing i don't know what is this some issue with the microsoft edge i will be moving to chrome soon i was thinking this microsoft edge is very good but it turned out bad okay so we have the programmers warehouse 
we can change this logo after some time but i think for now it is okay so yeah the only place to learn website development okay good doesn't look bad right now we can probably get the uh navbar also but that's the one thing for the navbar we will make another video in this video only the footer was included so i'll see you in the next one have a good day